Hello everyone, today we will teach you how to create a new wallet. Design is pretty decent. As you can see, there is a big purple create new wallet button on the right side of the screen. It's impossible to miss it, so let's click it first. Now we need to create a passphrase. You need to type in passphrase two times and then you need to click generate keys button. Ok, now we enter the wallet. So on the main page you can see all your data, passphrase, public address, private key and mnemonic phrase. First of all we need to save all this data. It's better to write it down on a list of paper and hide in a reliable place. You can also save it on your computer but it's better to have both versions, digital and physical. Now we need to name our account. I will use Walton as my wallet name. Now we should click save account button and we can start working with our wallet. As we can see wallet in total has six sections. My wallet, statistics, message, contacts, mining and multiple wallets. First section is my wallet. Here we can check our balance, so current balance is 0 WTC. If we will click on the market button, the wallet will show us current WTC price. On the bottom of the page we can check our transaction history, currently the section is empty. Send and receive buttons are located on the right. That section reflects our stats, account, historical amount, account mining results and distributional map of nodes. Message section. In message section we can check messages sent by the system and also we can check our transaction history. Contact. Here we can add new contacts in our address book. To do that we need to click on add contact button and then we need to type in the recipient address. And finally, mining section. Slow mining speed mode helps us to save electricity, but the mining result won't be fruitful, so it's up to the user. If you want more coins, it's better to use fast mode. Thank you for watching this video and good luck!